Your feel-good music on the breeze. Hello, my name's Alex Loughrane. I'm the Chief Executive of the Hampshire and Isle of Wight Air Ambulance. We're standing beside the helicopter, but also more importantly, up at our brand new airbase, Hangar 2B, at the Thruxton Aerodrome, included in which is a fantastic new immersive simulation training suite. And that is where our helicopter emergency medical service teams, the HEMS teams of paramedic and doctor, can train in a realistic environment. They can train by a roadside scene or in a nightclub scene or in a, in a, uh, a disaster at a building site scene. And they can train with realistic mannequins on the injuries that they're likely to see, but perhaps only very rarely during each year, so that they can train and be ready to be the best that they can be when the patient needs the most. So, hello, my name is Liz Shuri. I'm a hospital emergency physician for South Central Ambulance Service, and I work here on the Hampshire and Isle of Wight Air Ambulance. This is our new training room. It's an immersion facility for simulation to help all the crews train in how we approach different scenes. So we have different crew typical scenes. This is a roadside, and it really gives us an idea of the noise and all the kind of hazards that can occur to the scene. Um, we use mannequins such as this one. This is a young girl. We can use who actually can make different noises, for example. I want to go home. And then we bring our normal equipment that we would bring to the scene. So actually, as we arrive with the patient, we'll bring these two big kit batteries. Uh, we bring our monitor, or such as some other equipment to help us look after the patient. And really, it's a brand new training facility. I think it's the first one in an airbase in the country to have this facility to be able to provide different scenarios and scenes and really test our crews that are ready to go for any patient that we see. Lots of these scenarios are interactive which really gives the crews an idea of the hazards they might find, even, for example, on a normal housing estate. If you notice this house here, there's a little sign here. And it's just to really remember all the different hazards, even what can really seem like a nice uh, suburban environment.